What's good NBA fans? In today's YouTube video, we'll be talking about who's better between Chet Holmgren and Victor Mbayama, man. Um, we're watching two big men with similar physiques and similar play styles, okay? Two big men that's like, what, 7'3", 7'4", that can handle the rock, shoot the three ball, swat shots, okay, with a lot of potential. These players both having two different roles to the NBA and even now having different situations in the NBA. We'll be analyzing Chet and Victor Mbayama to see who's the better player and who's the rookie of the year ultimately so far. Starting off with Chet Holmgren, who was originally drafted in 2022, but suffered a foot injury in a pro -am game, causing him to sit out the whole year last year, you know, so he's technically a rookie this year, leaving a lot of fans irritated. Like Chet's not a real rookie, you know what I'm saying? Chet's not a real rookie. We've seen this with Ben Simmons. Um, so we've seen this, we see this happen a lot, okay? And this could be another case of that where Chet Holmgren swoops in, you know what I'm saying? It takes the rookie of the year from Victor, but um, we'll see about that. But Chet Holmgren started this, this season with the Oklahoma City Thunder as a rookie. Um, and as a rookie, Chet Holmgren is finding himself in a good situation. Chet Holmgren has an all NBA first team MVP candidate teammate in Shea Gilgis Alexander, who is leading this young OKC team to the second seed in the West. And Chet Holmgren is starting to fit in perfect with this team. Um, he's averaging 18 points per game, seven rebounds per game. I really want to see him pick up the rebound, you know, numbers a little bit. I want to see him get a little more aggressive on the boards. I feel like with that height and with that wingspan, you should be averaging like 11 rebounds per game. And he's also averaging two and a half blocks. So um, he's showing his def defensive presence on the other end, um, mainly at the rim. Okay. Um, he could still work on his perimeter defense a bit, but his rim protection so far has been amazing. And he's also had some great standout games this season, having a career high night against the Warriors, dropping 36 points on them, and even hit a clutch shot that game to send them to OT, and they ultimately won that game, okay? Seeing that from a young OKC team this, this season was just so, like, it was just astonishing. I'm just like, dang, like, this OKC team really hooping. And if you haven't checked out my OKC video, go check it out. I made a whole video about how good the OKC been playing. Um, but today we're talking about Chet, okay? Um, so, yeah, he's... Got some good numbers for a rookie. Uh, efficiency has also been a standout. Chet is shooting 55% from the field. And he's also shooting 40% from the three. Okay, that's really good for a young big man to be shooting 40% from the three. That's amazing. And right next to an MVP candidate, like, what else could you ask for? Um, now I'm going to get into Wimby's case for rookie of the year. The French prodigy was drafted first in the 2023 draft by the San Antonio Spurs. Um, with a lot of reactions being positive, um, seeing that he had a lot of legendary mentors such as Tony Parker and even Tim Duncan to look up to and ask for advice and, you know, just to have right there after good games, you know what I'm saying? Um, Wimby came out of the gate showing us why he's the number one pick. Wimby is averaging 19.4 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, and three assists per game. So like I said, Wimby is rebounding better, um, and this is how I want to see Chet rebounding because... That's what OKC need. They need Chet Holmgren to be snagging down them boards, okay? Um, he should at least be averaging 10 boards at that height. I'm sorry, but Victor Mbayama is averaging 10 rebounds per game. That's what I like to see. Um, he's shooting 45% from the field, so he has lower efficiency than Chet. Um, and he's shooting a bad 29.4% from the three, which can only get better as a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Um, efficiency doesn't come quick with young talent always, so... Um, that's not the worst thing to see, you know what I'm saying, if you're a Wimpy fan, okay? A lot of fans is not worried about efficiency when it comes to Rookie of the Year, and a lot of people isn't worried about winning, okay? But it seems like this year, they've been tying in winning and efficiency to the Rookie of the Year. And if we talking about efficiency, winning, and just being most valuable to your team in, in Rookie of the Year, it's probably Chet Holmgren. But if you're looking at just potential, upside, and, you know, better play so far, you're probably looking at Wimby, okay? To be honest with you, I will pick Wimby. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you, but let's continue on Wimby's story. And Wimby not and Wimby might not have an all NBA first teammate like Chet does, but he has something better in my opinion. He has a Hall of Fame coach and Greg Popovich. Okay, with uh, Greg Popovich just signing a five year extension with the Spurs back in July, it looks like Popovich would be Wimby's coach for the foreseeable future, which is a very positive thing for Wimby's career. Okay, for his development. When we need this, okay? Because a lot of times we see number one options like Zion Williamson and others fail because they don't have the right organization around them to make them better, okay? Sometimes you just need that right situation. And Chet and Victor look like they got good situations right now where their development will be perfect, okay? Wimby has had even great duels this season against good squads like the Suns, Bucks, and Thunder. 
having his career high against Kevin Durant and the Suns dropping 38 points in a win, okay? When I seen Chet do that, I mean, when I seen Wimby do that, man, I was like, oh my gosh, like, they played the Suns back to back. I remember that. I remember that exact two day stretch, bro. They played the Suns back to back days and took dubs on both of them. They won the first game. The second game against the Suns was when, well, is when Wimby dropped 38 on them. And I think that game was away too. So, um, yeah, Wimby's insane, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, that's very impressive for a rookie. And um, Wimby is also the youngest player or the youngest center to drop a triple double. Um, only at 20 years old, he dropped a triple double against the Pistons. And I was actually there. Yep, me. I was actually there to witness that triple double, which is really cool and dope. Um, to see, you know, Victor Mbaiama have a triple double for, you know what I'm saying, scoring, rebounding, and just passing the ball. Um, and it's going to be just, it's scary because, like, he's only going to get better from here. You know what I'm saying? He's only 20 years old. He's 7'4". And with that passing ability, that rebounding ability, and that dribbling and shooting ability, Victor Mbaiama is going to be probably one of the best of all time. He has a crazy, he has a Hall of Fame coach and great power piece, like I said. Um... So I ain't gonna lie, you know, going through all of this information, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Me personally, TT and Ja, my vote is on Wimby Yama. I ain't gonna lie. If I had to pick one player to build around, I'm picking Victor, Victor Wimby because simply because for one, he's younger, okay? Um, for two, I feel like he just has more upside to him. I don't know what it is, but you can see the flash in every game. Like if you watch Victor Wimby Yama, you can see the flash. You can see the the flash of just like all like you get to see the superstar in him already okay he makes it look so effortlessly you know um they throwing him lobs he barely jumping for him like he's doing like behind the back dunks over dame like this guy is something to watch guys okay in my opinion i think victor wimbayama is the better player here but a lot of people saying chet is the better player because he has more efficiency which i agree chet is a better shooter chet is more efficient from the floor um, but Chet also has the better situation, okay? Chet has less attention on him every game. Look, think about it. You going into the game with Shea Gilgis Alexander as your best player. So all you got to do really is just really screen for him, roll to the basket, you know, wait for him to get double. You catch an open threes, you get open lobs as Chet. But Victor Obama, he's the key guy in everybody's, you know, scouting report. So at the end of the day, I feel like Victor Arma has a, a more of a challenge every game and he's showing us why he's the number one pick this year. Um, I feel like Chet Holmgren is also, Chet Holmgren respectfully is second place though. Very close. Um, and respectfully, Chet should be in the conversations, okay? Because he is more efficient and he is winning more games. So with that being said, man, that's all I got for you guys today. I ain't going to talk you guys' head off. Um, I'm going to let you guys debate it down below in the comments. Please let me know down below in the comments who you got between Chet Holmgren and Victor Wimbayama because it's still when Victor Wimbayama, I ain't even finished his name, but please let me know who you got between Chet and Wimby because it's a debate that honestly, I don't still don't know. I think Wimby's the, the better player, but they're real close, okay? So it could be either or. You guys let me know down below in the comments who you got. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn that bell on so you will never miss an upload. I love you guys. Till next video, you dig.